Hello, my name is Shiraz and welcome to my English and Maths channel. Um, this is my website here we, where you will find um, loads of English and Maths interactive lessons. Um, my only advice to you as usual is learn it and use it, otherwise you'll forget it. So whatever you learn, make sure you use it in your day-to-day um, -day life. Um, so therefore, on my website, you will find loads of interactive lessons which will help you practice and use what you've learned. So let's get started. Today's lesson um, is for pre-intermediate and um, also for intermediate students. And in this lesson, you will revise and use um, some questions um, which you can use to get to know your new classmates. And we're going to revise all these questions by playing a game. And let me explain the game to you. I will show you the answers and you will make questions for those answers. Is that okay? Good. Um, so here's a clue here. It's an easy one. And the answer is Shiraz. And the question would be, yes, easy one. What's your name? Okay. My name is Shiraz. Okay, and here's the um, a home, and the answer is Uxbridge, UK. And the question would be, yes, where do you live? Excellent, very good. So this is the sign for do you. Where do you live? Okay. Easy question. The answer is Pakistan, and the question is, where? Yes, do you come from? Very good. Where do you come from? I come from Pakistan. Where do you come from? Okay, let's move on. Um, here you can see different languages. Uh, you can see hello in so many different languages, and the answer to the question is, Urdu, Punjabi, and English. And the question would be not how many, because you don't have the number. So the question would be what languages do you speak? Very good. What languages do you speak? Good. So far, so good. And the next one is blue. And let's see what question you can make. Yes, not bad, not bad. Okay, because we're doing intermediate, so we're going to do a little bit, uh, you know, higher level question. Which color do you, very good, like best? Which color do you like best? I like blue best. That's my favorite color. Okay, here you can see uh, so many different books and they are different subjects and the answer is maths. So you can guess my favorite subject is maths. Um, and the question would be same like the one before we've done. Which subject do you, very good, like best? Which subject do you like best? You can also say, what's your favorite subject? Or you could say, uh, which subject do you like the best? Or sorry, the most. Um, and I like maths the most. Okay, so here you can see so many different sports. And the answer is cricket. And the question would be, same like the one before, which sport do you like best very good which sport do you like best which sport do you like best you can also say what's your favorite sport or which sport do you like the most and i like cricket the most maybe you like football the most okay in this picture you can see some animals which live with you we have a special word for those animals yes pets very good 
And the answer is no, I don't. I don't have any pets. And the question would be yes, good. Do you have any pets? Good. Do you have any pets? You could also say, have you got any pets? The meaning is same. So, okay. Um, so you can see some brothers and sisters, and the answer is three brothers and one sister. So that's three brothers and one sister. And the question is, yes, how many? Good. Brothers and sisters. Yes, very good. Do you have? Very good. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Yeah, you could also say, how many brothers and sisters have you got? The meaning is the same, so you can use either of them. It's not a problem at all. Okay, the next one is house. I live in a house. The question would be, yes, do you live? Have a look at the picture on the screen. So there's a house and there are there's a block of flats. So, do you live in a house or a flat? Excellent, very good. So, do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a house. Okay, the next question is about free time. You can see that in the watch, Saturday and Sunday, no work, no school, no college, and no university. Nothing at all, just free time for you and for your family and for friends. Okay, so the answer is watching TV. I like watching TV in my free time. And the question would be, yes, what do you like to do in your free time? Very good. What do you like to do in your free time? I like to watch TV. Or you could also say, I like watching TV. The meaning is same. Okay, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to watch TV. Or you could say, what do you like doing in your free time? I like watching TV. The next one is, uh, it's a baby. Um, a map of the world and a question mark and the answer is Lahore, Pakistan. That's where I was born. I was born in Lahore, Pakistan. So the question would be where and you see this sign that means past where were you born? Where were you born? I was born in Pakistan. Okay, that's a difficult question. So you can see um, there's a teacher teaching and there's the map of the UK and some, some years. So, And the answer is seven years. So let's see if you can make the question. It's a difficult one now. Okay. Yes. How long? Very good. Have you yes you're right it's present perfect continuous very good been teaching where yes excellent in the uk very good how long have you been teaching in the uk how long have you been teaching in the uk i've been teaching in the uk for seven years okay the next one the question mark on holiday so and that is August 2016 that's the answer so let's see if you can make a question for that one when very good yes past very good question when yes did you last go on holiday very good when did you last go on holiday? 
Okay, moving on to the next one. Yes, there's another question mark for holiday, and this time is the name of a place, Alton Towers. And the question is, because the answer is the place, so your question word will be where, very good. Where, past, yes, where did you last go on holiday? Very good. Where did you last go on holiday? Where did you go last? Where did you last go on holiday? Good, very good. Okay, you can see so many different countries and there's a question mark and the answer is two. It's a difficult one. So because the answer is two, you need to ask the number. How would you ask the number? Excellent, very good. How many, very good. How many countries? Good. Have you? Yes. You're right. We need present perfect here. Excellent. Have you visited? Visited. Good. How many countries have you visited? How many countries have you visited? Yes, only two. Okay. You can see uh, cinema there and you can see adverbs of frequency on the screen. And you can see never sometimes, often, or always? And the answer is rarely. Now, what is rarely? Rarely is, yes, you're right. Very, 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 very little. Almost never, but it's not never. But it's very close to never because it's a very, very, very little. So the question is, it's a difficult one, yes. You want to ask how often good so how often yes do you good how often do you go where yes in the cinema you can see that in the picture can't you okay do you go to the cinema very good how often do you go to the cinema yes the answer is rarely because I go to the cinema very, 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 very little. Maybe once a year or maybe twice a year maximum. Right, you can see brothers and sisters and there's, a, there's an arrow pointing to the eldest child. Okay, that's the clue. And the answer is me. So you can tell from the picture, from the information there that I am the eldest in my family. Okay, so the question would be who, because you're asking about someone, who is, very good, the, yes, excellent, very good, who is the eldest child in your family, very good. Who is the eldest child in your family? Who is the eldest child in your family? Okay, you can see Leonardo DiCaprio and you can guess. He's my favorite actor. So the question is easy peasy now. Who is your favorite actor? Very good. Who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, I like him. I like him. He's a good man. Okay, so on this screen here, you can see Will Smith, um, who is a famous person, a celebrity. Um, and next to Will Smith, there is a person, there's a common person like me. And there's a question mark. And the answer for me is, no, I haven't. So that means I've never met a famous person like a really famous person and the question would be yeah that's a difficult one but we'll try together have you yes ever met a famous good person or you could say a celebrity have you ever met a famous person no 
I haven't. What about you? Have you ever met a famous person? Okay, on this screen here, you can see um, happy family. Uh, and the answer for this one is my wife and children. And the question is, who do you live with? Very good. Who do you live with? I live with my wife and children. What about you? Okay, moving on to the next one is question mark and is respect. And the answer is my mother and my father. So I respect them the most. The question would be who do you respect the most? Who do you respect the most? I'm sure you also respect your mother and father the most. Okay, a difficult one. You can see the years and there is, uh, is the map of the UK. And the answer is 14 years. So the question would start with, yes, how long, good, have you, Excellent. And yes, being where? In this country or in the UK. How long have you been in this country? Yes, 14 years is a long time. Yes, I came to the UK in 2003. Okay, revision time now. Let's see if you can remember the questions um, because I will be saying the answers, but you will not see the questions this time. So let's start with an easy one. Yes. The question is, what's your name? Good. Let's do the easy ones quickly because I'm, I'm sure you remember them. Oxbridge, UK. The question is, yes, where did you live? Good. The next one is Lahore, Pakistan. Yes. Where did you come from? Good. Or probably, I think it was, where were you born? Yes, you're right. Okay, Urdu, Punjabi and English. Yes, the question is, what languages do you speak? Good. Which color do you like best? Very good. Which subject? Did you like best? Very good. Which sport do you like best? Easy questions. Okay. Three brothers and one sister. And the question is, how many brothers and sisters do you have or have you got? My wife and my children. The question is, yes, you're right. Who do you live with? Excellent. Okay. The next one is watching TV. Yes, you're right. It's about free time. What do you like to do in your free time? Excellent. 14 years. The question is, yes, how long have you been in the UK? Excellent. Seven years, if you remember. Yes, teaching in the UK. Yes, you got it. How long have you been teaching in the UK? Excellent. Okay, once or twice a year, if you remember that. Something very, very, very little. Almost never, rarely. Good, you got it. How often do you go to the cinema? Very good. Okay, I think a few more questions. My mother and my father. Yes, who do you respect the most? Very good. Okay, let's see. Me, do you remember? Yes, who is the 
eldest child in your family. Good. Is the one Leonardo DiCaprio? The question is, yes. Who is your favorite actor? Two. Do you remember how many countries have you visited? Very good. Okay, a few more questions. Alton Towers. Holiday, remember? Good. Where did you did you last go on holiday? Very good. And August 2016. When did you last go on holiday? Very good. Okay, well done. You've done a very good job. And now I'm going to give you some homework. You've got a task. And the task is that you've got to choose a new classmate in your class. Okay. And try to ask them as many questions as you can. You can ask them the questions that we've done today, or you can ask them some other questions. I'm sure you would know lots of other questions. Uh, but this will give you an opportunity to improve your speaking skills and you can become more fluent in English. And after that, um, you can do a little bit more work if you wish to. Um, you could write a paragraph about the person that you spoke to. Um, so remember to use past simple or present perfect. Um, well, this is the end of the lesson, um, and thank you very much for watching my video lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please remember to subscribe to my English and Math channel on YouTube, and also don't forget to like and share my videos. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye-bye.